Hello guys and welcome to SFX CEO and Pro 5 Production. In the next part, that's a Korean news. I know I did stop it a little uh, brisk uh, yesterday, but I didn't really have more time to record. <laughs> Sorry about the what picture I used for the profile picture in the second part. Start recording right here. Oh, wrong button. I accidentally started it up with full screen mode now. Start recording right here. There. Now it's working. Right, load game. We're here to protect you, silly. Right, we have just gotten back the note we gave to her. Never want to talk to the other one. She would probably just kick my ass. Protect me. From the shadows. Right. I remember saying something about them being uh, guardian angels and they're keeping a close eye on me But this is ridiculous Of course it is! They're angels! What's... Well, uh, nothing ridiculous about angels, but probably get the point I scribbled down my reply writing as so fast I have, I have to cross out words several times before I finally get it right Okay, get that part, but do you really need to be this close? How did you guys even manage to get uh, enrolled? Did you forget how close we are being uh, compete in this morning? We're not gonna let ha that happen again. And as far as we got it, well, let's just uh, say we're very persuasive. I don't think they have to persuade very much, actually. Ehehe. <laughs> Who actually writes ehehe? <laughs> uh, girls? I suppose? Ah, uh, whatever. At least she is gave me an, uh, gave me an answer. Somewhat. Now that I think about it, the teacher did look a little confused as he introduced them. I'm guessing they uh, worn this, uh, their way into here with uh, whatever magic powers they have. I think they have a uh, quite a uh, good amount of them. It's a bit scary actually. Magic. How can magic be scary? Alright, dark magic might be scary. I used that word so casually. I... Am I just accepting this existence? It's existent now? Yes, given uh, the evidence, it's a bit hard not to, but I'm still going to remain skeptical. The first lesson of the day goes uh, on an, an agonizing slow pace, of course. Can't focus on anything, no matter how hard I try. After what seems like an eternity, the bell finally rings, announcing the end of the lesson. There's still another lesson to go before break time, though. This makes it impossible to talk with the girls, especially since the next lesson, PE, where the boys and girls are separated. Wait, how are they supposed to protect you then? Me? How the hell are they supposed to protect me? Ah, uh, well, uh, why is life so complicated? Hmm. After uh, actually getting changed for PE, I'm soon in the schoolyard with male half, the male half of our class. Much like the first lesson. I find it hard to pay attention to the PE teacher as he goes through the basic warm-up exercise. I follow the exercise just about with as much enthusiasm as a zombie. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be surprised if zombies exist in that crazy story. The rest of the lesson is sort of blur, at least until some of the male students are who look for towards and track field with <clears throat> until some of the male students start to look towards the track field where the girls are. They are staring 
in amazement, some even rubbing at their eyes as if it couldn't be real. What's so amazing? What are the guys all looking at? If I'm not going into crowd phone so I can actually get a good look at the field? No way. The girls are running in the track with... Which is an amazing thing itself, but it's who running on the track that makes it such an unreal sight. <laughs> I guess there was something like that. Sayoka is blazing across the track, practically in practically a blur as she leaves the others in the dust. She really running circles around them. She doesn't look tired or exhausted at all, either uh, either save for the beds or sweet creeping up, in fact. She has a big smile on her face, clearly young at all. As if it wasn't obvious uh, before, these girls are a completely different level. I'm sure she's breaking several kinds of records right here. The other girls in the group uh, help with the trail behind her, their expressions raging from sheer confusion to envy. Some of those girls, well, I guess were now the top of the class when it came to track 2, but she's making them all look like snails in the comparison. I can't imagine how they must feel uh, being showed up by someone who hasn't even been here a day. I can hardly keep my eyes on her. She seems to get just a little faster with each lap she makes around the track. It won't be long now before she has become just one big blur and entering the place. Is she, is she even human? She might have been human a long time ago, but not anymore. I'm seriously being... Uh, beginning to doubt it here with this superhuman display. I think even the top athletic in the country couldn't compete uh, compared to her. While Suki is hoping to spotlight her, she is some one missing it all of this. Her far grumpier counterpart, Hakiri. If anything shouldn't, uh, shouldn't, she'd be neck and neck with Sayoka. I scanned the ones training behind her, but can't find her either. Just where, oh. Behind even the other girls being the left oh, in Sayoka's dust, is seeing someone dragging their feet. A sore expression on her, uh, their face. She, she's just walking on her arms folded like usual. I wonder if her arms are glued like that. She isn't even trying. She must really have not wanted on a rule here. Uh, well you didn't have they didn't have much of a choice did they? If uh, it it must have been Seoko's idea entirely. Yeah it won't come in that that are all... What are we all staring at? Come on, let's get back to it. Apparently all for getting we had our own lesson at hand. The teacher calls us back to reality, forcing us to... Us all to really... We we'll actually stop going at the girls. The rest of the PE lesson goes without anything much of note happening. And the final, final launch break arrives. I spot the magic uh, girls in the classroom, usually chatting away with some uh, of the other students. Huh, I didn't think they'd be able to make friends already. Though after Seoka's little display earlier, she's probably the talk of the class. Oh, Kenta. Hi there. She gives uh, me a wave and she'll uh, really smile, but I can't hardly say uh, say I do the same. 
Okay. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Look, can we talk? Hmm. Go for it. Not... No, not here. I mean, can we talk somewhere uh, private? Crap. That might have came out weird. I get a... I'm getting weird looks from everyone in the class, a few of them breaking into a whisper and giggles. Of course. So this uh, thing surprised despite uh, full well knowing what I mean. Oh my, this is a bit sudden. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh come on. Now she's just playing with me. Come on, stop messing around. I've been dying to talk uh, to you both of you since this morning. Oh good. Oh god, I made it worse, didn't I? I somehow turned this into looking like uh, one of the most awkward confessions ever. Are you all it is for with girls you just met? She giggles going along with the continued painful painful stare from the class. Well. If she's going to be like this, I have uh, no choice. This is going to make me look even worse if in uh, front of the class, but I need answers. I take a deep breath and steal myself. And then... What? What are you doing? I grab her by the wrist, pulling her along towards the classroom door, whether she likes it or not. Given what the uh, witness before, I'm sure she could have me flat on the floor if she was truly opposed to do to this. I think she just messing around at the point though. I would have maybe made a different approach, one that would make it even worse. And you two come with me. Okay, <laughs> who said you could touch me? With my free hand, I take hold of the carrier's wrist, no doubt see me cementing myself at some sort of event within, within my class. Thankfully, both follow along without too much of a resistance. Ignoring the brunt of the carrier's verbal abuse, I continue on to the doorway. I just have to find someone quiet. Where no one will hear us discuss this magic and monster business. Yeah. This question is Oath. Uh, uh, I'm all, all my haste escaped the classroom with both my the girls in a tow. I crashed into someone who was already making the way through the door. She stumbles backward, looking slightly dazed. Thankfully, she doesn't look hurt. Uh, are you okay? Sorry about that. I offer her an apologetic smile. Who is the... is she again? She must be from my class. I can't recall her name at all, though. It's fine. She speaks in a cool tone. Her eye... Uh, a curly cold eyes locked into my own own in a intense stare that completely betrays her words. Yikes. I guess she has a reason to be annoyed giving my clumsiness, but this is look of pure hate. Oh, okay then. Confirming she's okay, I continue with Hikari and say okay to the processing mostly from Hikari's side. Increasing the volume in volume. I can't even begin to imagine what she what this must look like for people passing by. I'm sure even as I head to the stairs, the girl's still staring at me. Then I do something to annoy her. I mean, besides the clumsiness from the today, of course. Ah, uh, can't worry about that. F uh, about her for now. Uh, bigger problems to worry about. Namely, two big problems, one in each hand of mine. Emerging into the roof, uh, I'm thankful to see it's a divide of life. Divide of life. 
safety wall by tall mesh fence at the roof is technically a spot stud students can spend their break at, but uh, really isn't that popular. Yeah, I actually uh, heard about that in Japan. Works for me. Okay, now can you guys explain the wool mess? I release both of their wrists simultaneously. Seoka bunches happily, completely unbothered, while Hikaru, on the other hand, rubs her wrist as if as if I had assaulted her. Next time, how about you ask before you grabbing someone like that? You just luckily we are in a public place, or I would have sliced you in two. Oh, this is exciting! Oh, this is exciting! Uh, is this gonna be one of those confessions I heard so much about? No. Yeah. Confessions? To who? Both of us? Wait the heck. What the heck are they even? I shake my head. This isn't a confession. You know full well what this is about. You can feel. I can feel the face burning up. I really excited. Exhausting dealing with her then. Toki gives me a teasing smile before bursting into a giggle. Apparently this is the funniest thing in the world to her. I know, I know. You want to actually explain um, for all of this, don't you? Couldn't help myself. Thank you. I let out a sigh but should... Uh, my shoulders dropping. Finally. Finally. So what did you want to know about first? What are the, uh, that monster? How long are you going to stay here? I want to know exactly who they are. Okay, this should uh, be an obvious one to ask. I asked it before but only got the uh, vague answer of it. Uh, them being uh, my supposed guardian angels. I'm hoping she feels more generous right now, though. Well, I'm Sayuka and this is Akari. Did you forget our names already, silly? No, I remember them, actually. I might actually rip my hair out here. I open my mouth to once more say she knows damn well that's not what I mean, but she seems to... She's way ahead of me. I'm a sir. In all seriousness, I'm not really sure how much uh, I'm allowed to say. Only them bending the rules as if they're showing herself to you. I mean really, this whole thing is complete disaster. Why did you have to cause us so many problems? Yeah, it's not my fault, I think. Just uh, be thankful you were so important to me. What? Or we would have left you to get eaten by that mom that thing. Huh? The realizer of what she said slowly the the dance on her. It was quite fun to watch her usual you, you grumpy face gradually go red before she stomped into the fluster. I mean, important to us. It still sounds weird, us much. What? Soka gives, gives her a playful punch on the shoulder. Huh. What? Kyo responds and can giving her a wail of the shoulder with nothing playful about it. Are these two even partner? Anyway, I try my best to keep things on track, though I'm sure it won't be long before uh, they developed into a violence again. I think the mo uh, most we can tell you is... Hmm. We're not from around here, rather we are sent here especially to ensure your safety. Do you belong to some sort of a group? Wait, are there more of you with these weird powers? Heh, <laughs> might have to said too much already. Well... I uh, suppose they are, but this is the only two we're gonna know. She rubs her back on her head and grin that pretty much says whoops. 
I probably won't be able to get uh, any more info out of her on this subject if you not uh, still keep talking uh, weirdly then probably we'll get a whole lot today at least maybe if they catch her off guard another day she might let more slip so was there anything else you wanted to know I want to know what the I want to know what the heck that thing was that saved me from earlier. A shadow, I think uh, she uh, she called it. I'm guessing there are more of those things lurking out here. Hmm. And they are after me. Well, in the particular case, there are though. Usually, they're not so aggressive. But they have always been around, lurking in the hmm, shadows. <laughs> it's really weird. I never seen one uh, so brave uh, as to attack someone in broad daylight. It was like something had gotten really riled up. I think I know it. Or maybe <laughs> she fails into the top, leaving Hikara and I to stand awkwardly. Ex uh, Exchanging even more awkward glances. Uh, Saku? She snaps out of the stupor, blinking back to reality. Huh? Oh, sorry. Don't worry, it's nothing. What the heck did I, I do to an announce these monsters anyway? It's not uh, that you did, it's because of uh, who you are. Who I am? Yeah, you bl. Sayoko! Blood. What? Okay, okay. Sorry. Sayoko is cut off by the ear piercing cry from Hikari. Oh. I guess I never know now. Hikari seems at then uh, about keeping it a secret. I guess it's my blood, something in my blood. He doesn't need to know any of that. It's better this way. We sort out the problem at hand, and we can finally have this horrible school. You no fun. You're right, though. <coughs> Sorry, Kenda. She gives me an apologize look. She really sounds sincere, too. I need to understand some. Like she's a practical person to tell me, but just can't. No use pressing it, I suppose. Maybe one day. So what's there anything else you wanted to know? That's all for now. I guess that's all we have to time for now. Right, let's save there. Uh, so that was all I have for Sakura Spirit this time then. But hit like and subscribe. I see you next time. Bye.